This time tomorrow, this box will be on the M5 in the boot of the car on the way up to gas and gears, which is really exciting. These are the uh, shock relocation plates from Scarface Lowriders. Those things are awesome. I haven't had to notch the chassis and it just drives them absolutely amazing. So well impressed with that. I'm gonna start undoing the drive shaft bolts. Right, and boxes off, all removed, all strapped up on the engine side. Uh, got loads of tyres on it to keep it flat and level. Took about an hour and a half to get off, but it's good fun when it hadn't. Hour and a half? <laughs> what a load of <laughs> If we go back five years ago, I thought I was going to have a 250 brake T4 and put some big subs in it and go to festivals and just have it as a drinking party machine. Uh, but of course, as the years have gone on, I've added a bit more power, took weight out. <laughs> turned into an absolute weapon now. Um, after all the drama from two years ago where I basically my own engine uh, by fitting a powder coated cam cover, um, I didn't expect to get a huge amount of power out of it and then Nick at Decimal Temps managed to get 565 brake out of that engine. Mad <laughs> I thought it was a write-off. We had to use, you know, a few new parts. We had to use a new block. We had to use a new, use a new head. But the main parts, you know, like the cams, that cost a lot of money. Uh, the pistons, a lot of the hardware, uh, Nick managed to save. Every time I boot it in fourth, I'm always paranoid that I'm going to strip the teeth. Uh, so I got chatting to Eveni, a monster performance, and he's actually made me a custom uh, gear set. We haven't just got a third to sixth kit or a one to four kit. Um, I've actually gone for a full billet one to six uh, with a slightly longer input shaft for the uh, adapter uh, so i'm now on my way to martin gas and gears so that he can uh, basically show me around the parts um, he's going to install it if you don't know mark he's well renowned in the vw community in the uk uh, for building some of the best boxes out there he's also the trusted fitter for monster performance as well fine guys i feel like a kid in a sweet shop so just for comparison this is my gear set that's going in. This is the O2M kit uh, from Monster Performance. So Venny's put this all together for me and he's also added this 18 millimeters here. Uh, this is because of the adapter plate on my gearbox, which then means that the gearbox is an extra 18 millimeters away. And there's a spigot bearing on the end here that sits inside the crank, you know, to give the input shaft a bit more support because the ne next bearing, the next bearing is actually here. So you've got all of that you know, all of that distance there uh, for the shaft to potentially bend and wobble around. So this is a solid shaft all the way through versus the standard one, which is a bit hollow and can bend. You'll often see people put a fourth uh, support mod, which will support that there. I've still got that on my box and it's staying on. But just to give you a comparison, look at the size of the teeth on these cogs. So this is a standard set here. So the teeth are a lot smaller, they all slip together, which keeps it nice and quiet. Uh, but you, you do have a very small cross section at the base of each tooth, uh, which makes them prone to snapping, especially when you're putting sort of five, 600 horsepower through these, these teeth start to strip, which then brings you over to the monster gear set. These of course have got much, much bigger cross sections at the base of the teeth. For that reason, they're a lot stronger, uh, but because the teeth are more spaced out, it gives you that classic whine. Some of you have probably heard how this sounds on Nick at uh, Team Prawn Racing's gearbox. It uh, sounds absolutely epic. Rather than just going for the uh, four to sixth kit, I wanted to get the whole thing because it also means that I get a stronger input shaft uh, for the T4 because it is a big bus. It's doing a fair bit of work. Uh, so I just thought rather than you know come backwards and forwards, I wanted to get everything in one go. We've got this lovely uh, machined clutch alignment tool there. I'm definitely gonna turn that into some kind of ornament because that looks stunning. I have gone for the synchro kit. Uh, the dog boxes, if you're a professional driver, um, great. I'm definitely not, so I think I'd damage it more than actually get the benefit from it. The synchro, I know a lot of people might think, oh, why has he gone to, you know, spent so much money and just got a synchro kit? But for me, it's the safest option because, you know, I drive my car around daily, um, you know, a two litre diesel TDI. If I then jump into the van and I crunch the teeth, it's going to take it off the road for a couple of weeks. Mark's going to be like, oh God, not this idiot again. And then he's going to have to fix my box for me. This is a much safer option. Um, on top of the actual gear set itself, it does also come with a billet shifter fork here. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Mark was just explaining to me about the standard uh, O2Q sets here with the rubber bit on the end, or even the older O2Ms with just a steel part, that they can actually snap on this part here. 
uh, which of course then means you know gearbox out has to be taken apart and then redone but it just goes to show that the kit is well thought out and they've really put all the details into it to make sure that everything does last so i can't wait to get it in the van and i'm going to hand it over to mark now to put everything in uh, so huge shout out to monster performance and uh, huge shout out to mark i'll put both of the links to their pages in the description for you to have a look at so you can check out their other work mark also not only builds the o2ms he also builds a lot of other vw boxes including for any of you uh, t4 guys the o2b so if you need a really good solid o2b rear build make sure you give him a shout and he'll be able to get it done for you all right guys here we are three days later on the way back up to see Mark to pick the box back up. Girlfriend's come with me this time because she can't wait to see the rebuilt box. And uh, yeah, you really appreciate all of the fine details that's gone into this box. Billet gear set, the input shaft. She's been telling me about it all day. So. I taught him everything he knows. Yeah, so really looking forward to picking the box up and uh, getting it back in the van on Monday. So exciting times. Hey Shadow. EK, look how happy she is. The gearbox is in the car. It's exciting, isn't it? We're gonna get whining in every gear. All right, guys, I'm just gonna prop up the end of the motor there. And we've got the gearbox here, of course, with a longer input shaft. Now, before whacking this on, you've got a concentric clutch slave on these. Now, on the O2B, your slave's on the outside, which makes it really, really easy. But if this fails, it's a box out job. I've ordered up a genuine concentric slave to go on there because I don't know the history of this one or how old it is. So I'm just going to swap a new one on just for peace of mind. For the sake of a new slave, it just means that I don't have to worry about it now. It's fitted and I can forget about it. Once that's all in, I can then put in the Motul Gear 300 uh, 7590. I really rate that oil. That's also the oil that they recommend to use with the wave track differential that's inside there. This input shaft here has a small bearing on the end, so I'm just going to add some grease to this. And to make sure it's properly centered in the end of the crank, Monster Performance actually provides this stunning machined clutch alignment tool, which just enables you to get the bearing in and give it a tap just to get it in the end of the crank. The writing has to face outwards. There we go, so I've got the bearing on the end. I've added a bit of grease to it. That now just slips in there like that and then seated in to the end of the crank. And now when the box slides in, that bearing will now sit on the inside there to support the input shaft. Nice and neat. I really like what Monster Performance have done with these kits. It's really cool. Uh, again, massive thanks to Aveni at Monster Performance. Uh, he's actually added on 18 millimeters there for my kit as well to make up for the adapter plates. There you go, nicely in place. You know, massive shout out to uh, Gas and Gears. Really appreciate the help, Martin. The fast turnaround, getting the box. I dropped it up to him on the Wednesday, collected it on the Saturday. I mean, a fantastic service. He's also fixed the tilt trim motor as well, which I really struggled with uh, to get open. Massively helpful guy. If you need anything doing gearbox related, give the guy a shout. You know, massive thanks here to Ant for helping me out with the extra hours. You can see how much of an involvement these guys have had. Ant also designed the mounts, and he's now making the first batch uh, for the first bunch of people uh, that are going to be running the 20 valve or a PD in the T4.